welcome back to Make a Reaction Reviews, where we react and review to things on the internet. And today we are returning to George Carlin. And some of you guys have wanted me to react to this video for a while. Um, titled Seven Words You Can't Say on TV. But every video I saw of this was like 20 minutes long, and I was like, yeah, no way. So I found a clip that is only six minutes long, or a little over six minutes. So when we react to this one, it was uploaded seven years ago, has two million views and 25,000 likes. So going right into it before you do, if you like this type of videos please don't like comment and subscribe hit that bell to get your notifications when I do upload all of that really does help with the algorithm guys and if you'd like to support this channel even further you can donate my PayPal me link is in the description box below and also in the comment section of course it helps but you don't have to you can just like comment and subscribe another great way to support this channel you can join my brand new membership program different levels different tiers different perks or you can visit my brand new merch shop if you guys like the type of videos I react to on this channel, if you like the music and the type of conversations we have, pick up one of these statement shirts today. Start a conversation, speak your mind. We carry t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts. Christmas is coming up. Pick up a Christmas gift or two or just treat yourself. And it's a way for you guys to support this channel. 9 to 12 business days for the United States, 12 to 15 business days international, and 4 to 5 rush domestic for the holiday season. Pick up your shirts today. Other than that, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, here we go. Sometimes, well, hell yeah. Sometimes it's okay, but not all the time. That's, and they're the only words that seem to have that restriction. I mean, there are a lot of words you can say whenever you want, you know? Pneumonia! Nobody gives you a lot of... All right, you can't yell it in the hospital a great deal, but what the hell? There are words that you can say, no problem. Topography! No one has ever gone to jail for screaming topography. But there are some words that you can go to jail for. There are some words that we just have decided we will not say all the time. Sometimes, okay, if you're running through the jungle chasing somebody that we're at war with, you can holler them. If you're shooting a criminal, it's okay, it's the all-American thing. Dirty fucking crook. <laughs> but if you're with the bishop's wife at lunch, it's better not to ask for the goddamn lettuce. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just like we've decided there'll be some words we won't say all the time. And I was just trying to find out which words they were. For sure. All of them. I wanted a list. Because nobody gives you a list. That's the problem. They don't give you a list. Wouldn't you think it'd be normal if they didn't want you to say something to tell you what it is? But they don't give you a list because they're constantly moving the goalposts. They're constantly changing what's offensive and not so offensive. And also changing the definition of meanings of words altogether. But let's continue. Nobody even tells you when you're a kid what the words are that you're supposed to avoid. You have to say them to find out which ones they are. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> ah! Oh, fuck! <laughs> ah! That's too... Oh, Ma, that's enough trial and error, huh? Please, Ma, give me a list, huh? All right, you're six years old now, and here's the list of words your dad and I don't ever want to hear you say. Oh, hey, thanks, Ma. Boy, that's going to save me an ass kicking or two. <laughs> ah! Yeah, you never know what's going to be on the list. Because it's always somebody else's list. You didn't make that up. Somebody told you that shit. They told you better, better not say that. So you got to... And you don't know what's going to be on their list. God. It just reminds me of like when Dr. Jody Peterson was talking to that woman who kept trying to like rearrange what he actually meant. Uh, in that famous viral interview. Basically saying like, you, if you're at a dinner table with someone, with one person, and the person says, can you please not use these words because they offend me? It's easy to be like, okay, fine. We're friends. I care about your feelings. I won't use these words because they offend you. Now when you start to multiply those people, you're at a party with 10, 15 people, and they all have these different words that they don't want you to use because they are offensive. Now it gets harder not to offend people. Now you have hundreds and thousands of millions of people that all have their different words that they don't want you to use because it's offensive to them. It's impossible not to offend anybody, especially if you want to have an actual dialogue and a conversation and exchange of ideas, especially 
if you want to talk about hard shit, real hard topics, how can you ever get through this stuff if there's these multitude of words by all these people? Because again, everybody has these different words that are offensive to them. If you can't, you can't even speak. You won't be able to actually have a conversation whatsoever, which is actually what's dwindled down to these days, where it's like people just don't even want to talk to one another because like, I don't know if I'm going to offend you or not. You know what I mean? But let's continue. Yeah. People's lists even change from day to day. Some people on Friday night got a list, you know, not about two or three words. Sunday morning, goddamn, there's 27 words. On These are the same people two days later. Different list. So you got to kind of watch out what you're going to believe from them. The trouble is, I was trying to find out what these words might be. And I wanted to know the ones that you could never say on television. I mean the filthy words that are always filthy. There are a lot of these little two-way double entendre words that have two meanings, words that are okay part of the time. I call them like part-time filth. Some of these words, they're only 50% dirty. You have words like ass. Ass is hardly even a dirty word anymore, but it has a few meanings that you can't say on television. That's what I was talking about. What can you say on television? That's another one of those places where we can't use these words all the time. But some of them are all right some of the time. Ass is all right on television. You can say on television things like, well, you've made a perfect ass of yourself tonight. But you can't say, hey, let's go get some ass. <laughs> now right i'm pretty sure you can say it now of course this is outdated a bit i mean not the sentiment of what he's saying that's not outdated because we're still dealing with censorship now but the words that you probably can't say on tv is a little bit outdated because i'm pretty sure you can say ass now you know what i mean but let, let's continue with the, the list <laughs> bitch bitch is another word like that same kind of word it's the only dirty part of the time depends on what you mean by bitch you might be the lady from the san diego zoo visiting one of the tonight shows and you might just have a bunch of little canines with you there one of them is a female you say there's the bitch johnny and it's okay fine just don't refer to the singer the same way that's <laughs> is that bitch gonna do another number yes <laughs> animals are fine on those two-way words and that's it that's what i was trying to find the words that were always dirty not just part of the time but completely filth well in in looking for these words i kept finding new categories we have so many ways of describing these dirty words it's well we have more ways to describe dirty words than we actually have dirty words that seems a little strange to me it seems to indicate that somebody was awfully interested in these words they kept referring to them. They called them bad words, dirty, filthy, foul, vile, vulgar, coarse, in poor taste, unseemly, street talk, gutter talk, locker room language, <laughs> barracks talk, body, naughty, saucy, raunchy, Rude, crude, lewd, lascivious, indecent, profane, obscene, blue, off-color, <laughs> risque, suggestive, <laughs> cursing, cussing, swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. <laughs> Okay, I hope he goes back to that list again because that went fast. Um, didn't know there are so many definitions for dirty words or bad words or inappropriate words. Um, he might want to add another one called dog whistle or um, Michael aggression, something like that. <laughs> I do think, think the people who are the most hyper focused on the words who are the ones who make such a bigger deal about the word. The ones who are hyper focused on the word are the ones who give the word so much power. If you didn't hyper focus on it so much, it would lose its power altogether. Together. But it's that idea of the sort of Marxism of like you have to find the evil, you have to go and look for it. So they hyper focus on everything so they can find the evil, right? They can find the oppression. Where everybody else is like, it's just a fucking word, get over it. The same thing with Michael Aggression is if I need to see a magnifying to see it, then why would I be focused on it in the first place? It's dude, like why would I even give it any space in my head? Let me live my best life, leave me alone. Maybe I just want to be offended. Um, and it's the ones who are always pointing out the dog whistles. It's like, why do you, the person, the person that's supposed to be anti-racist, why do you always hear the dog whistles and no one else does? I mean, that's a little bit curious to me. All right, let's continue. That's all I have. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. That was my original list. I knew it wasn't complete. But it was a starter set, you know? <laughs> Shit.
Shit, piss, fuck. Yes, WBAI is the one who played them. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, suck a motherfucker, and tits. Now that was the original list. We've added a few words since then. We've added fart, turd, and twat. <laughs> And I know there are some other words that many of you are wondering about, why they haven't been considered, why they haven't shown up on the list thus far. We're looking at them all very closely. Some of your favorites might make the list this year. <laughs> Asshole, ball bag, hard on, piss hard, blue balls, taint, nookie, snatch, box, pussy, pecker, pecker head, pecker tracks, jism, joint, doniker, dork, poontang. <laughs> I actually think we should bring Poon Ting back. Yeah, I like the sound of that word. Right, let's continue. Cornhole and dingleberry. <laughs> dingleberry, a very popular word. And to my way of thinking, dingleberry, a rather innocent sounding word. Dingleberry sounds Christmassy to me, you know. <laughs> let's put one on the tree, Dad. <laughs> All right, guys, that was George Collin, the seven words you cannot say on TV. I'm pretty sure almost all the words he said in that list and even the ones he considered you can say now except for maybe see you in tea or taint i haven't really heard taint too much people don't usually use that word a lot i mean you have to be in a specific setting to be using that word quite often but um but i still think today in 2021 moving into 2022 we still have tons of censorship i think it's even gotten a lot worse and i think there's like not even words you can't say, it's whole speeches and ideas that you can't say or have that is, uh, you know, plaguing our society, which is, is sad and we should fight against it. Anyway guys, that was George Carlin. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you think all the words he said you can't say today on TV or how, do you think that a lot of those words still are stand that you cannot say on... That's a pig. <laughs> outside of my window if you heard it you cannot say on tv let me know in the comments section below please like comment subscribe hit that bell to get your notifications when i do upload all of that really does help with the algorithm guys if you'd like to support the channel even further you can donate my paypal me link is in the description box below and also in the comment section of course it helps but you don't have to just like comment subscribe another great way to support the channel is you can either join my brand new membership program different levels different tiers different perks or you can visit my brand new merch shop great statement tees and mugs to show the world what you're thinking how you're feeling and the type of music you're into i also have a second travel vlog channel i travel as a lifestyle or a live abroad if you'd like to know where I am in the world, you can go in the description box below and hit the link. Go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on my travel Instagram. My stories is usually what's most up to date. And I also have a TikTok. Links down below. You guys have an amazing day. Bye.